Hello, hello guys. Let's make something out of old pants. So let's reuse these old child's pants. So this one can apply to adults too. So all you need is a pair of scissors, a thread and a needle and some cute little tiny beads or you can do without that for decoration of some pants. So, uh, so all we need to do is cut out the, the old ugly part and in doing that you're going to need a scissors, a ruler and a piece of carbon to, to mark out the, the line. So you, you're going to make sure that it is a really straight line so that both the, the legs of the shot you're going to make will be straight and really neat. So take a piece of carbon and a ruler and mark out the lines and take your scissors and cut through. You really need to make sure that you are careful because the scissors is really, really sharp. So cut out all the, the rugged old torn parts on both legs. So after that you have uh, the one the side you want to reuse. So the next thing you're gonna do is pick your thread and fix it on the needle. And after that turn your shot inside out. So that you're gonna give it a very little cute turn up so that you'll be able to sew it so remember you don't need any machine all you need is your, your thread and needle and uh, i'm gonna use my hand to do this no machine needed but if you have a machine you can opt for for a machine yeah? So make sure you give it a very cute turn up and balance everything well. Uh, so if you know you are not accurate, you can use a ruler and measure the length for both sides so that you, you are sure that it's going to be well balanced. So take your needle and thread and start sewing it. So be sure to, to be very keen. Make sure you are very, very, very keen with your hand so because the needle is really sharp. Huh? So let's do this, guys. So in this situation you could I could have opted for a red thread because but because I had only black I opted for this but for it to be neat and really invisible you're gonna make sure that you match the color of the fabric with the thread you're using so that uh, it won't be invisible it will be invisible but uh, I opted for black anyway because uh, that is what was available um, another thing you need to note is that um, most people tend to throw away their old clothes, some use them as rugs, some trash it away. But uh, I thought of uh, what if I could make something cute out of this old trouser so that my boy can still use it. So that is why I opted to, to make it a short. So if I had a baby girl, I could even make uh, a small denim skirt for her. But... Uh, unfortunately i have baby boy so this is what i'm gonna make so uh, you really need to be careful remember to protect your hand if you are uh, a professional tailor there's something they normally use to protect their hands when they're using needles so that they won't get hurt but i didn't have that um so i just opted for being extra careful with the with the needle and uh, my hand <music> So this side is done as you can see though the the black thread is really still visible but it's manageable so let's do the other side turn up so this side i'm gonna demonstrate how you can use a ruler to to measure the length you require for for both sides to to really fit in and to be uniform so if you're not accurate with the freehand method i used in the first other leg you can use still use carbon and uh, ruler to measure so that the turn ups really gonna to be going to be uniform and really neat. So after turning it up, repeat the, the, the same procedure you did with the hemming the other side. So take your needle 
already fixed with a black thread or a red or maroon one, whatever color you're gonna use. And uh, let's do it, guys. So I hope you can see so almost done I hope my boy is gonna accept this <laughs> amends <laughs> if he rejects it, it's fine I had fun doing it and I hope someone out there gonna try this and uh, reuse their old pants instead of trashing them away um, so you you need to be very careful that is the finishing end so that it's gonna be tight and uh, the thread won't loosen you want to redo that so then take your scissors and cut the thread and needle out and uh, that's it let's turn it inside out so that is how our, our short gonna look like so i noticed my boy had some ink messed up is a uh, is a uh, trouser so you see those dark patches i'm gonna use those beads to 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 fix them so that they will be invisible and we will have something to distract somebody if they want to put their attention there so take your your little beads i'm gonna use the shiny white ones and fix them on the needle then pass them through the thread so make sure you tie the end of the thread so that the needle won't fall off so Pick them and pass them through the needle as you can see. So you can use as many needles as you can provided you do the job you want them to do. So I'm going to start with this uh, first patch and I'm going to make a really something fancy out of the design so that that part won't be visible really so <laughs> that boy won't let me do the job so you're gonna make sure that uh, you also be careful because your hand is not protected pass the needle through in and out so to fasten the beads so watch out as i do it how i pass in the thread and the needle up and down until all this is done So I hope you notice that I'm just passing the needle up on this side and down so that it will come out on the other side and the, the thread will do the job of holding the beads at the right place I want them to, to be fixed. So repeat that until you to achieve the desire you want for the beads and uh, our main aim is to to cover those ink on that cloth but at the same time we come out with the a cute little design that will distract anybody <laughs> who wants to notice that this cloth was a mess. So that is the, f I'm fixing it to, to finish up uh, the, 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 the beads won't loosen and leave the cloth. So that is the finishing point. Then take your scissors and cut the thread out. Uh -huh. So that is the design I got. So remember I had two places with the ink. Uh, so continue fixing the beads on the needle and pass it through the thread and make sure you repeat the same thing tie a knot at the edge of the thread so that the beads won't come out so that is the last part I'm cover with those beads so that the ink won't be visible so repeat the same procedure you did with the other end until that place is all fixed <music> You 
you're gonna make sure you take extra care because the needle is really sharp you can fix and hurt your cuticle or even nail so be very keen and take your time so that you achieve your desired uh, design and uh, you are also safe at, uh, at the same time <music> I think I'm almost done. It's a wrap, guys. So do well to fix it really well so that the beads, you know, the it's on a kid's cloth. They can try to pick them out, but if you give it a really tight fix, you won't be able to remove them as we use them to decorate. So this is the final, final product, guys. So remember to subscribe share this video with your friends and give it a thumbs up please if you liked it and i, I had fun doing this so at least uh, i made something out of an ugly cloth so tell me where you are watching us from remember i this is it and uh thank you for watching <laughs>